Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to help the channel grow and keep up to date with our latest videos. Hi and welcome to another video by me, FlowJo. Today we're going to be looking at the increase variable action on Power Automate Desktop. So what is the increase variable action? Well, it references a variable that needs to be increased. So if we have a variable such as number and it contains five, and then we want to increase that by five to 10, we can simply use the increase variable to reference the number variable that we have, which is initially five, and then hard code five to it. So when the steps go through, the variable will be created of five, and then the increase variable action will be used to increase the initial variable by five. Now, you will need then a numeric variable to be able to use it because this uses a variable, but it doesn't actually have to be hard coded as I was just speaking about. What you can actually do is reference a second variable that you can apply dynamic data to such uh, from places such as SQL, and then you can then increase by that said value. So let's actually take a look at what this looks like then. When you first drag it onto PowerMate Desktop, you'll be presented with this. And here you have the variable name. Now you have the squiggly brackets with an X on the right hand side of the variable name field. If you select that, it will list all of the variables within your PowerAutomate Desktop flow. So you don't actually have to type it manually. And then we have the increase by section. Now this is where you set the amount that you want to increase by. So this can be variable or hard coded as we previously spoke. You could enter a five in there so we can increase our um, initial variable of number of five by an additional five, or you could place an additional uh, variable in there that may have been set by something um, from somewhere such as Dataverse or SQL. So let's actually take a look at this in action on Power Automate Desktop. Okay, so we're on Power Automate Desktop and what I'm going to do on the left hand side under the action section, I'm going to select variables and I'm firstly going to set a variable. As we discussed before, we need a variable to use this. So I'm going to set the variable to demo and I'm going to set the initial value of five. So we'll press save there. We've now got a variable set of demo to five and then I'm going to use the increase variable. Now, if you haven't used this before, you can drag and drop or you can just double click on it and it will be added to the bottom of the flow. And then I'm going to use the little squiggly X on the right hand side of the variable name as we was talking about previously. And you can then see that our demo variable that we had just created is listed there. And it's a numeric value type, which is great because that's what we need. So if we select that, then the variable name is being placed in there for us. And then we want to, let's say, increase by five. So if you press save, so what's going to happen then when I hit run is demo is going to be assigned to five. And then I'm going to use the increase variable action to select demo, which will be five at that point and increase it by five. So at that particular point, the demo should be set to 10. So on the right hand side here under flow variables, we should have 10 there. So let's just hit run. And as you can see, demo is set to 10 and it's a numeric field. Uh, the demo is the variable and we've got the number of 10. So what happens if we want to use dynamic data and reference another variable, for example? So let's say this variable was getting set by SQL. So we'll just call this SQL as an example. And that SQL amount was getting set to 10. So we've pulled in data from SQL and we've assigned it to this variable and that number is 10 that we've got from SQL to the variable name of SQL. Now the increased variable at the moment is still referencing demo and Add and adding five to that is increasing it by five. If we come into here and remove that, 
we can then select that little squiggly X in the increase by and it lists all of our variables. So if we actually select the SQL one that we just created as an example, as if we've pulled data from SQL and press save, what will happen now is the variable gets set for demo with an initial value of five. We'll pretend to pull information from SQL um, at which would be a value of 10 and set it to our SQL variable. And then what we'll do is we'll increase the demo, we'll increase five by the 10 from the SQL. So if we hit run now, if you watch over to the right hand side, it initially gets set to five, SQL gets set to 10, and then the increase variable happens and demo gets set to 15. So if we open this, we can see that our demo variable is a numeric value and is now at 15. And that is how you use the increase variable action on Power Automate Desktop. Thanks for watching another video by me, Flo Joe. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button or select a video on your screen right now to continue learning more about the Power Platform.